Hello and good afternoon. So I noticed in the last several videos there has been quite the debate between who is offering the more affordable vacation right now, Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando. And as I'm reading all of your comments in the last several videos, which by the way, thank you so much for all of the comments. I have really been enjoying just hearing different opinions and just different outcomes about everything and it's just been a lot of fun to read so I really appreciate that and I'm sure a lot of you will have different <laughs> opinions about this video so I'm looking forward to reading all of your future comments but I was curious as I was reading those comments who is offering the more affordable vacation right now so last night I stayed up I did all of my research to find the answer and I'm gonna break it down in this video. So I'm going to break this down in three different tiers. Tier number one, I went with the most affordable option that is offering the best offers as well. Tier number two, I went with the most expensive option if we wanted to be bougie for a week, but I'm also pairing this up with, again, who is offering the best deals and promotions and offerings. Tier number three, I just booked this as if I was booking a vacation and the things that I like and don't really mind paying for are things that I just don't want to pay for. And that's how it's going to work. I don't think there's too much more to it. Let's just jump right in. And by the end of this video, we will know as of 2024, more specifically summer of 2024, which brand is offering the better vacation and the more affordable vacation? Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando? I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, we are going to start with booking our next Walt Disney World vacation. I'm checking in on May 26th, 2024 and checking out on May 31st, 2024. And I'm booking for a family of four, two adults and two children ages 10 and five. So it looks like there's a few pretty good offers right now other than the 30% off for a Florida resident. Everybody else, Disney is offering you a stay longer and save more on rooms. All right, this sounds pretty good. Let's see what they have to offer. Again, I am starting with tier number one. So I'm just looking for the most affordable option. I found Disney's All-Star Movies Resort and a preferred room is going for about $172 a night, which is not too bad. We're around $3,800 and this comes with park tickets. So for five days, that's the price. And this just includes the base ticket, no park hopping. But then if we add park hopping, we're now at around $4,200. So that's something you're just going to have to talk to your family about. Do we want to park hop? Is it worth the price? My personal opinion, if you're here for a week, five days, just do the base ticket. There's really no need to park hop unless you're, you know, you just want that option to go to one park and go to another and just kind of do as you please, but just get the base ticket. That way you can experience all of each park. If you do want more options, you can get the park hopper plus option, which includes park hopping and you can visit the water park for not too much more. And now we're around $4,300. Here's a closer look at the current promotion. Stay longer and save more on rooms. Looks like this is valid most nights from July 8th to October 3rd, 24, and also on nights March 25th to July 7th, 24. Minimum one night, maximum 14 nights. This is what I decided to go with at All Star Movies Resort. I have a preferred room. I have a five day ticket, one park per day, which is okay. Now I have the option to add the dining plan, memory maker, any ground transportation, and of course, travel protection, but without all of the upgrades and upcharges, I'm around $3,800. I know the Disney dining plan just returned. I do plan to make a full dedicated video sometime in the future, so stay tuned for that. But just my opinion right now, if you're here for a week, 
I would just go with the Disney dining plan, either option, just because when I travel, I like to have the most paid for it that I possibly can. And I like the idea of having it all inclusive. So I would go with the dining plan. It's not too much more. And it's just nice knowing that everything is paid for before you get here and during your vacation, you don't really have to worry about going out of budget too much. So these are the prices for both dining plans. The only big difference between the big dining plan and the Disney quick service dining plan is you have that one table service meal per day, which is very nice to have, but it's not needed. I went ahead and added the Disney dining plan. And if I wanted to add Memory Maker, here's the current price. After that, this is where I am right now with, you know, my stay at All Star Movies Resort, a five day ticket, one park per day. I did add the Disney dining plan. So this includes the one table service meal per day. I feel like that's worth it to me. And I'm sure many of you who just want to come here and just have the peace of mind. I also added Memory Maker and I'm at around $5,500 now and this does not include any ground transportation or the travel protection, which I always highly recommend to add travel insurance because you never know what could go wrong. And with this, you can cancel no matter what, and you can get all of your money back without any question. And that's just a nice peace of mind to have because you never know what could happen. And this actually happened to me on a cruise where I did not add the travel insurance, but I had to cancel my trip and I ended up losing some money. But if I had the travel insurance benefit, I would get 100% of my money back. And I mean, you have bag delay, trip delay, emergency medical, rental car damage, you have it all. So just get it. It's not too much more with Disney. It's 190 for all four guests in my party. But yeah, add the insurance because you never know. And now the grand total for my vacation, $5,758.57 with a deposit, which includes the travel protection plan, $390. Now we're moving over to tier number two, which is the more expensive option. And I'm starting here at Disney's Contemporary Resort because I just see a lot of value when you do decide to stay here just by having that walkway that will get you over to the Magic Kingdom because when you're not staying at the Contemporary Resort, getting to Magic Kingdom could be quite the challenge. So this is just a nice option to have. And once again, we are using the special offer, stay longer and save more on rooms. I'm going to plan this vacation as if I'm a family of four. My budget is bigger and I want to be a little bougie because I mean, you are on vacation. You want to relax and just have the best if you can. For this option, I'm going to pick resort view club level. And if you don't know what club level is, Basically, you have your own dedicated concierge service that will do any and everything for you. So if you need to cancel a reservation, make a new reservation, change a time, you have that service right on your private floor. If you did not know, Club Level has its own floor separated from everybody else that's staying at the hotel. This option also comes with, of course, the Club Level Lounge, which includes food all throughout the day and it also includes alcohol like beer and wine. It's such a nice perk to have. I have stayed club level before at Disney's Yacht Club. It was absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to do it again. I do have a full dedicated video that I will leave the link for down in the description below if you want more information on club level but this is the option I'm going with here. I did want to show if you don't want to go club level these are the prices. I would not recommend a garden wing at the Contemporary because you are not inside of the main tower. But if you want to be in the main tower with a water view, $572. That's honestly not terrible. And here's the price without any of the upgrades, just around $8,500. I'm going to go with a five day ticket. I'm going to go with the park hopper option 
Now I'm around $8,700. And then this is what I'm working with before I add the dining plan or memory maker or the travel insurance. Here's the pricing if I wanted to add a Disney dining plan. And here's the price if I wanted to add memory maker. I did go with a five day ticket with a park hopper option. I did add the Disney quick service dining plan. I also added memory maker. I did not add any ground transportation and I did add the travel protection plan. For my grand total, I'm a little over $10,000 with a deposit of $390, which includes the travel protection plan. And now we're moving over to tier number three, and this is just how I would plan my vacation. So here's the current prices. I'm looking at Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter. I love this resort, it's really good. The room rate they are offering me is $278. Here's the different pricing for the different rooms. I'm going to go with the standard view because eh, I don't really need to pay too much more for a river view if I'm really not going to be in the room that much. Here's the price so far without any of the upgrades just about $4,600. I'm going to go with a four day ticket, including the base ticket. I don't really need a park hopper option because I just wanna maximize my time in each of the four theme parks. And myself personally, I would like to take that extra day just to do everything else at Disney World because there's just more to do other than the theme park. So I would use that day to go to Disney Springs, enjoy my resort a little bit more, lay out by the pool, maybe do some resort hopping, maybe go to a water park. And with that option, I'm saving a little bit of money. And because I decided to save a day, I'm actually saving about $500. So now I'm at just about $4,100. Here's the prices if I wanted to include a Disney dining plan. I decided to go ahead and add the Disney quick service dining plan because I'm just the type of person I want to have everything paid for at least as much as I can before I arrive to start my vacation. I did not add memory maker because I have my iPhone. I have my camera. I don't really need to pay that much money to have my pictures made. I would rather put that money somewhere else. I did add the travel protection plan and my grand total is just about $5,300 with the $390 deposit. I wanted to add just a little extra. Whenever you're looking to book your next Walt Disney World vacation, if you're not using a travel agent, if you just want to do it on your own, go to the main website, go to places to stay and scroll over to view special offers. Always look at the special offers because these discounts can really save you quite a bit of money. I think the best one that they are offering right now is a free and delicious deal for Disney Plus subscribers. Basically, if you do a four night, four day Walt Disney World Travel Company package, which includes a room and your tickets, you can qualify for a free dining plan. This is for arrivals most nights from July 1st all the way through September 30th, 24. And if you stay at any of the value resorts or the moderate resorts, you're going to receive the Disney quick service dining plan. But if you stay at any of the deluxe Disney resorts or in the villas, you're going to get the full Disney dining plan. Just because I was curious, I did look for a trip from July 1st through July 6th, and these are the prices I'm getting. So I'm actually saving even more money and I'm receiving the dining plan for free. Interesting. Here's a look at the more expensive hotel options at Disney World. I'm going to go with staying at Disney's Pop Century Resort. These are the different prices. I'm just going to go with a standard room, a five day ticket with the park hopper option because I'm saving money. Just like that, I qualify for a free Disney quick service dining plan. And look at that price. I have the dining plan. I have a five day ticket with the park hopper option. No memory maker no ground transportation. Of course, I have the travel protection plan around $4,700. I'm saving money if I decide to go a little bit later in the year. That's a pretty good deal. And now let's go ahead and switch things over to a future vacation at Universal Orlando. 
Here we are on Universal's website. I'm just looking over the current promotions. Looks like they're offering two. The first one, get two days free with a two park, two day ticket. And then you have save 25% on a three park, five night vacation package. Okay, let's go with that one. This is everything that is included in this package. It is valid from November of 23, so it's been going on for some time now. All the way through July 31st, 24, there are a few blockout dates. This is not bad. And then if you need to book your flight, looks like you can save 25 more percent off. Let's do the same dates as I did over at Walt Disney World from the 26th of May through the 31st of May, 24. Four guests, two adults, two kids, one room. For the best deal, it's giving me Universal's Aventura Hotel, which I love this hotel. I highly recommend. Just shy of $2,500. These are the other two options Universal was giving me. Looks like Cabana Bay would not be anymore. And then if you want to stay at the Premier Hotel at Portofino Bay, which includes Universal Express, you're looking to pay an additional $1,300. Okay, so I have our hotel room and then I have a three park, five day park to park ticket. So you can visit all three parks, Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay for all five days, just shy of $2,500. Woo, that's not bad at all. And then if you wanted to add Universal Express passes, you're looking at starting from $255.59 per ticket. Something that I don't think most people know is Universal does offer kind of their own version of Mirrors Connect or Disney's Magical Express, but you do have to pay for transportation. That's just what it is now. And the pricing is not bad. And I've actually heard really good things about this service. I haven't personally given them my business yet. I do plan to. So again, that could be a future video. Stay tuned for that. But for one adult ticket, you're looking at $39 and for a child ticket, $36. And this is round trip. Starting my ticket as soon as I land on our first day, the 26th. Okay. I like this price. Again, this is the save 25% off on a three night, five night vacation package. This does not include any travel protection, little over $2,600. And again, this includes your hotel stay, your tickets, which are park to park, and it includes your round trip transportation. And this is our new grand total after I added the travel protection, just about $2,900 which you do have to pay a deposit today of $420 and you don't have to pay it off until April 11th, 24. That was tier one. We are now moving over to tier two, which again is we have a bigger budget and we're going to be a little bougie. I'm going to pick Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. And again, this is a universal premier hotel. So this includes universal unlimited express passes for everyone staying in your room or in your party for every single day of your visit. So just to have a garden view two queen room, I'm looking at just about $4,200. That's not terrible. And again, this includes express passes, which those could really add up if you're not staying at a premier hotel. But like I said, we do have a bigger budget in this situation. I'm going to go with club level at Portofino Bay. If you did not know, Universal does offer club level at Portofino Bay. I have a upcoming video coming up. Stay tuned for that. But I mean, for an extra $682.92, I'm going with club level again, just to have food and drinks included. And if your budget is even bigger, you can upgrade to the Despicable Me Kid Suite. Here's our new grand total that includes club level, just shy of $4,900. What was it over at Disney? Around $10,000 at the Contemporary? Come on, that's a no brainer. Of course, I'm going to add my round trip service. And with the promotion of save 25% on a three park, five night vacation package, that's our grand total. Under $4,900, this includes your 
free Universal Express unlimited ride access. I also added the travel protection and that's our grand total, just about $4,900. Finally, we're moving over to tier three, and this is just how I would book my own vacation. I'm not going to use that promotion. I'm just going to go with Sapphire Falls because that's the best universal hotel in my personal opinion right now. And maybe they'll give me a special promotion as I'm booking through. We'll see. I'm going to go with a Lagoon View two queen room just because you get that incredible view of Universal Orlando. I can't recommend that enough, and this is $201 a night. Oh, look at that, a promotion popped up. Add a ticket and save up to $200. Okay, we'll continue. And look at that, even cheaper, just about $2,200. I'm staying at Low Sapphire Falls. I upgraded my room and it includes tickets now. It looks like this promotion is called Two Park 2024 One Day park to park plus two days free plus one more day at volcano bay promo dated again that's not bad at all if i wanted to add express passes that's the cost of course i'm going to add my round trip transportation my start date and this is my price before i add the travel protection this is the room the tickets, also the upgrade for the room, and also my round trip. And after I add my travel protection, look at the grand total. Just shy of $2,500. Well, we have a clear winner. Who is offering the more affordable vacation in 2024? Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando? And clearly, Universal Orlando is offering the more affordable vacation packages. But on the other hand, you know, Disney is offering some pretty good promotions as well, especially the included Disney dining plan. I think this is something that if you're looking to come to Disney this year, that's something I would look into. It just really depends on number one, your budget. But number two, what does your family really want? Do you want a Disney vacation or do you want a universal vacation? Because Honestly, they're both completely different. I think if I had to choose right now, if I wanted to visit a theme park here in Orlando in 2024, I'm going to go with Universal right now just because, you know, they're offering some really good promotions and it's more affordable. And the fact that I can have upgrades and still kind of stay under $5,000 you know, that should get your wheels turning. But then again, Universal can't offer some of the things that Disney offers and Disney can't offer some of the things Universal offers. So again, I think this is something that you should just sit down with your family, sit down with your kids and just listen to what they have to say and make your decision based on that. Anyway, that is all that I have for you in this video. Leave me a comment down below and just let me know what you thought of this video and the things that you may have not known about and the things you learned. And at the end of the day, just let me know your current opinion on the Disney versus Universal situation right now. I think because Universal announced the things that are coming to Epic Universe this upset the Disney people in some weird way that I still just don't understand. And that's just what I've really been enjoying reading in the comments when you guys debate amongst each other. And I just think to the Disney people out there, the diehard Disney people, you know, it's time to give Universal a shot. Just try it once. If you don't want to go to Universal this year, wait until Epic Universe opens, but I feel like by that time, it's going to be too late. Universal will be standing at the top of the mountain and we'll see how Disney responds to Epic Universe, which maybe we'll get something at D23. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, you just have to do what you wanna do. And I'm all about living life to the fullest and trying new things and, you know, just, just give Universal a shot. I think it just really depends on 
who do you want to give your money to? Disney or Universal? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.